What's going on everybody? I'm here to, to do a review for the movie Heretic, which is the latest A24 film. And let me tell you something right now. This movie is truly one of those where testing your faith is indeed the tagline that I'm personally using when it comes to this film. So loosely, you know, summarize, this movie is about two young ladies who are from the Church of the Latter-day Saints. They're going out into the community basically trying to tell people or convert people into what is modern-day Mormonism and telling them about, you know, the Word of God as they see fit with their particular religion. And, you know, they're two young ladies. They don't really specify their ages. They kind of guesstimate. But if I had to suggest, I would say they were probably in their early 20s for sure. At least that's how they're having them portrayed. And they're going out there on their mission. They basically have a certain time where they have to go out and to the community and then be back at the church and one of the last places that they have to go to is this home that the church tells them to go to and then they come across this guy who goes by the name of mr reed played by hugh grant and we're going to get into his performance in a second and they go to his home and they basically try to tell him about the religion and all types of stuff like that he tries to invite them into their home and then one of the rules is that they said we can't come into your home unless there is a woman present whether it could be a roommate it could be uh, of course a spouse like a girlfriend uh, a fiance or a wife and he just basically tells them oh my wife's in the back you know she you know she'll be out she's making pie and all types of stuff so they leave them and they go in the house and then they just sit down and they come in because it starts it starts to rain they go in the house they have a sit down and then he starts having a conversation with them and at first it seems nice and wholesome he seems like a really nice guy someone who kind of he comes he's kind of awkward a little bit you know he's always smiling and chuckling and, and you know doing you know saying things but they don't think nothing of it but then as time goes on he starts asking them these kind of odd off the wall questions that a person who is supposed to be seeking religion wouldn't typically ask especially to these young ladies who are not supposed to be or sound promiscuous and he starts asking them promiscuous questions like do you believe in polygamy and all types of stuff like that and they're like okay this is getting kind of weird and you know asking where his wife is at and he's kind of dodging it and kind of asking them more questions and then they start to put things together in that time period and they're saying okay something seems to be off with this dude we need to find a way to you know properly leave up out of here because we don't know what's going on they end up trying to leave but then they can't leave because the door ends up being locked and they don't know how to get out of it they try to call the church they don't have a signal so it's like okay so what's really going on here something is seemingly off about this dude and then they keep progressing as they go on and then that's when he starts to unravel so to speak around them and then he starts to put them or to the test, testing their faith, testing their religion. And his goal with them is to try to find out what is the one true ultimate religion. And let me tell you something right now. I didn't see it coming, but when they reveal what in his eyes is the ultimate true religion, it's like, whoa, wow. Because, and I literally said this to myself when I was watching this movie in the theater. I said, you know what? that's very true they got a point here i see what they did there and i like it and if you see the movie yourself and when you find out what the one true religion is then it's gonna you're gonna agree trust me you will agree because it's something that we have talked about probably online or maybe offline now let's get to the performances hugh grant let me just tell you this man gave a very solid performance playing this character of mr reed he actually made you believe him he actually like lured you in with his words and let me just say he had a lot of dialogue this man had a lot of dialogue and that's usually how it is when it comes to movies like this because it was a very intimate setting it's only three main characters him and the two young ladies for the bet for the pretty much the whole 90 percent of the movie and they're all in this one location so when it's dialogue like that and it's not a big on ensemble cast there's always going to be a lot of dialogues there's going to be a lot of monologuing but the way he delivered the lines and the way he was able to do it in a way where it came off one way and then as the time went on he started to unravel it came off another way i've said this when i did my smile 2 review when it came to naomi scott and i'm gonna say it here i know that the academy as far as the oscars go do not cater to horror movies like that however if they did hugh grant in my opinion would get an oscar nomination for this role because he knocked it out of the park with how he was able to convince you that this guy is a little 
cuckoo in the head. And he but he believes that he's doing God's ultimate work. Like he probably thinks that he is God. Uh, in some aspect, he probably believes that he is. And if you watch the movie, you'll see exactly what I mean. As far as the performances go from the, from his co-stars, the other two young ladies, they did a very good job. I think one of the actresses, her name is Chloe East. She's the dark haired brunette uh, young lady. She carried, as far as the duo goes, her portion of the performance definitely in the first half of the movie. The way she was able to give her facial expressions and give off like she was worried, like she was scared. She did a lot of facial reactions rather than a lot of dialogue. She had dialogue here and there. The way she was able to quiver her voice and everything, that was very good. That's not easy to do unless you're in the moment. And the fact that you have to do that and act is actually very good. I can't think of her co-stars. Uh... The, the the actress who played her uh, her, her co-star, but she basically carried it the second half. So and when you when something happens and why I say that one actress carried it in the first half and the other actress carried it in the second half. But when you see it, if you watch it, then you'll understand what it is that I mean. And really, like I said, this movie is all about testing your faith. How far will you go to basically say your faith is real or how real is it? Is it real or is it not? Or is there some gray matter in the middle that says it's a bit of both? That's really, in my opinion, the true message of the movie, but they threw a horror psychological thriller element behind it. There was one scene in there that happened when they went into this basement. I'm gonna just leave it right there. It was a scene in the basement and it's like, it's interesting how they pulled that off because Again, when you want someone to believe something that you put out there so bad, how far are you going to go in order to convince the, that person or those people that it is real? You know it's not real, but do they? But all in all, this was a pretty interesting movie. I will say that the trailers does not do it justice, but when I saw the trailer, I was automatically locked in and I said, I'm going to go watch this movie. And when I do, I'm going to go ahead and review it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Is this a movie that you would go see in the theaters or will you simply wait for it to come on to streaming? Y'all let me know what y'all think and I will talk to you in the next one.